Hello there. Uh, my name is TJ Davison, and uh, I'm doing a testimonial video for uh, Target's test prep. Um, so a little bit about myself. Uh, my background is in healthcare uh, and healthcare software. Um, I used to work for a uh, healthcare software company called Epic uh, for a few years at the beginning of my career, and I've been bouncing around from uh, hospital system uh, to hospital system since then, working as a project manager primarily um, and as a team lead in a number of different revenue cycle departments. Um, so I want to go to uh, business school because I want to pursue more in the digital health field and learn about entrepreneurship and uh, possibly start my own digital health company. Um, for that reason, I've been studying for the GMAT for about a year and a half. Um, so I, uh, after high school, um, I, I went to college and I majored in, uh, in, in neuroscience and uh, political science, but I didn't have to take any math courses for those. I, I did have to take a couple of statistics courses, but I was convinced that, that I was done uh, studying math forever. As far as I was concerned, I could just brain dump everything that I had learned in my high school calculus and algebra classes and never use it again in my field. Uh, and I was wrong. Uh, so when I first started taking the GMAT, I, well, studying for the GMAT, I took a mock exam um, out of the original guide, uh, the official guide practice book, and I got, I think, like 15 questions in out of the 50 that they give you for diagnostic purposes. And I, I was so frustrated. I couldn't keep going. I was taking like five, six minutes for every question. And I was sure I was getting them wrong. And, and I did get them wrong. I uh, went back and you know checked my score later. And, and I did terribly on the last few questions. I only got like maybe six or seven questions right at the beginning. Um, so I knew that I was uh, in hot water studying for this exam. And I knew that I had a long, long road ahead of me. Um, so. I did a little bit of research. Um, Target test prep came up on, on a lot of the websites that I was looking into. And uh, a friend of mine who had just recently gotten into Columbia for business school um, recommended Target test prep. Uh, so I checked it out. Uh, they had a free trial. Um, it made sense to me. Uh, the explanations, especially the uh, video explanations of all of the different um, questions and, and answers in, in each of the sections, I thought it was really well laid out. Uh, so I was doing that, um, I was doing that uh, trial uh, until it ran out. And I realized that like, I was going to have to study for this forever. I, I really didn't know anything. Um, I was perusing, you know, the different sections. And I really, <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but I didn't know anything math wise, man. seriously. Um, so I didn't take any more uh, mock exams. I, I didn't take any more practice tests. I went straight into the uh, target test prep course and spent a ton of time on it. Um, so probably one to two hours of studying a day uh, for the better part of a year. Um, I started last May and I just took the GMAT uh, this June um, and I got a 770. Uh, I got a 48 quant and a 50 verbal. Um, seven IR and uh, uh, six analytical writing assessment, just in case anybody uh, cares to know that. Um, I think that the entirety of my math score can be attributed to the target test prep course. I don't know what my uh, initial exam results would have been, but I imagine it probably would have been in the 500s, maybe low 500s, because there's no way I could have done even, even five of the questions, you know, at the beginning of the GMAT. Uh, in the state that I was in. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I used uh, Target Test Prep, like I mentioned, for, for about a year. Um, I did all of the uh, practice tests except for one. Um, I pasted out so that uh, I was doing, I think, like one chapter of um, the Target Test Prep uh, about every two weeks um, and I would I would spread that out through all of the practice tests that you had to take and um, eventually you know I got through all of the I think like 26 or something uh, chapters and I was getting better um, at that rate of study for me I know it's probably going to be different for everybody uh, and a lot of people taking the GMAT start off with a much stronger understanding than I did but really for relearning all of math um, I thought that the I thought that the course was well paced. 
I didn't struggle to understand anything. Sure, some concepts were difficult to relearn. And um, I think that actually the uh, TTP practice tests might actually be harder than the actual GMAT. Um, that was at least my experience. So uh, that was a pleasant surprise when I got to the GMAT. Um, so I have to say, uh, I think that my favorite thing about the course was probably how many practice sets they have you do and how every single problem in every practice set has uh, a video explanation. That's great. Um, the ability to go back and look at how am I actually supposed to do this question and can somebody explain it to me while they're doing it on paper, that was extremely valuable for me. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm a visual learner. Um, it, it's helpful to see how everything works out. Uh, and step by step, I know that there's a few different ways in some of the chapters of getting to the same place. And uh, Target does a great job of explaining all of the different ways that you can solve problems potentially. Um, so, you know, you can stick with uh, whichever one works best for you, whichever one makes the most sense. And I definitely did. Uh, I took. I think most of uh, the ones that they recommended just made sense. Um, so, uh, like I said, about a chapter every every couple of weeks, um, and then I spent a very long time at the end there, um, just going back and doing practice test of after practice test of uh, random problems. I used their analytics quite a lot. So every time I'd finish um, a chapter, I would go through and, and use the analytics to determine okay, so which problem sets am I the weakest in? And uh, there's a lot of reading that they have you do on strategy. Um, I was a little bit impatient. I wanted to just kind of skip through it, but I have to say uh, it was really, really helpful in the end. Um, pacing myself out on the practice questions made me so much cooler under pressure for the GMAT itself. It was like I was used to it. You know, seeing the clock ticking down didn't inspire panic and and I could just check and know, you know okay I've got this much time left so I've got to pace myself at however long for a problem but I thought that that was useful um I uh like I said I I was doing a lot of practice exams and and doing those every week if you're using target um I highly encourage every time they say go back and review the last four or five chapters or or whatever uh I highly encourage you to actually do that. It was extremely helpful for me. You know, it's a lot of information to take in if you're starting from a place like I started from. Um, relearning the entirety of the math that's on the GMAT, I found it very useful to be going back and refreshing my memory um, after five you know, chapters, doing the review tests that they give you, and then going back and, and looking at which, which ones have I already forgotten how to do. Um, and then, you know, when you're in like chapter 20, going back and doing uh, a review test of mixed up chapters one through 10 problems, again, it's super useful. Um, personal advice that I want to give related to GMAT preparation. I really did what was most useful to me. Uh, everybody's journey is going to be a little bit differently. I have a tendency to get a lot of test anxiety um, and the way that I work past my test anxiety is I just take a ton of tests that are similar so that I don't have to worry about it even still I don't I don't think that I slept even an hour the night before my GMAT so don't be like that uh, make sure that you get a lot of sleep and uh, and you have a routine um, also as you're moving through the material it can be a little bit daunting um, knowing that you you know, if it takes you like two weeks to get through a chapter and there's how many chapters, like you know, between 20 and 30 chapters that you need to learn, that can be difficult mentally. Um, so it's just, for me, it was a matter of keeping in mind that, um, that it was the journey that I was on and, and I had to kind of put aside that impatience for a moment to, uh, remember, okay, well, it's more important that I just do my hour, my two hours a day, and I'll worry about the results when I get to the end. It wasn't a rush to the finish. Uh, I was taking my time and I was making sure that I really understood everything before I moved on. Um, and even still, I mean, I only got a 48. I know that a lot of people uh, managed to score 49s, 50s, and uh, 
target lets you uh, pick, you know, kind of the your, what is your target score going to be? Is it, uh, you know, 49 to 51? Is it, you know, somewhere in the 40s? Um, I picked 49 to 51 um, because I just, I wanted to see everything that they could give me. I wanted everything to be thrown at me uh, right out the gate so that when I got to the GMAT, finally I would, I would know what I was doing and there wouldn't be any surprises. Um, and I have to say there, there weren't really any surprises. I think the mistakes that I did make on the GMAT were more um, due to test anxiety and jitters. Uh, that also brings up a good point. Um, I, I took the math section first. It may have been better for me to take the verbal section first so that I could ease into the test a little bit more and uh, do a better job on, on the quant section um, after I had gotten that initial anxiety out of the way. But for me, I think I also just really wanted to get the quant out of the way and maybe that's why I was able to get a 50 on verbal. Who knows? Um, I'm not going to be going back and retaking it anytime soon to, to find out, but uh, I think taking as many of the practice tests as you can, experimenting with the section order is a good idea. Um, and be honest with yourself, like about how well you understand the material. If you don't understand something, don't move on until you do, or maybe make a plan to come back to it. Come, come back to that section every time you finish a new one uh, to make sure that you're not losing that knowledge in between, um, you know, what the other sections you're studying for. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that, uh, pretty much covers my GMAT experience with Target. My final thoughts about it, their, their program is constantly being updated with new modules. Actually, it was a little bit frustrating at times to come back in and know that I had finished a bunch of the sections. And then it's like, oh, you have two, three more sections to do since last time because, uh, Scott added new material for you to review and it'd be like, man, I thought I was done with statistics or properties of numbers, and, you know, whatever. Um, but this is really useful. I mean, as they're learning better strategies for GMAT test takers with real data, they're giving that back to us. That's really useful to me. Um, it, it forced me to go back and revisit those things that I might've been weaker in, uh, before. So. I think that that's a really valuable part about it. Um, everybody at Target uh, that I've spoken to has been really, really responsive. Um, all of the questions that I've Googled, you know, uh, you see somebody like like Scott or somebody else from Target Test Prep answering the questions that are out there about the material and then updating the material. It's it's pretty great. You know, you see on Reddit, there's a lot of um, engagement on GMAT Club, on the other GMAT forums. Um, so I know that these guys, they really care about how well you do. And, and I have to say, I mean, I didn't try using any other um, GMAT preparation materials besides the official guide, but the, the official guide's a book, you know, it's not interactive, it's not getting updated, it's useful, but there are serious limitations on how useful it can be that don't exist with Target. So I, I give Target a 10 out of 10. I'd recommend it to anybody I have recommended it to a couple of people. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, back that up. If, uh, <laughs> if anybody, uh, had any problems with it, I'd just probably tell him to go talk to Scott. He'd fix it or resolve it for him. So anyway, that's about it. Good luck on your GMAT, uh, preparation and, and your GMAT journey. Um, I really hope you guys have as, as good results as I got using target test prep. And um, I hope you uh, get into all the schools you want to get into. I hope I do too. I'm about to stop working and um, get back into my MBA applications. So talk to you later.